Hey guys, Jeff here, with Jeff's Garage Adventures. Today I want to talk a little bit about, if you're interested and you're thinking about buying a Z, ZZ502 crate engine, uh, things you probably are going to need to know. And I, I built this one, I put this one in like four years ago, and I can give you some information about it. Um, <clears throat> it's 500 plus horsepower, close to 600 pounds of torque, in the rear you need to run a three inch exhaust with this because otherwise you won't get that those ratings that's a must the cooling I went with the ECP which stands for engineered cooling products with a dual 11 inch fan and it's putting out 3000 CFMs I'll show you that right now a little closer. It's not. It's not uh, cheap. It's expensive, but you don't get this. You're gonna. You know. You could. You got a chance of overheating. What I like about this setup is that it comes in all one unit. It's all all aluminum. Really nice. And it comes with its own control module Let's see if I can get it in there for you where you can preset your settings for when you want the fans to come on very easy to set up there's pins in the back side that you set the temperature you want to kick on I, I put mine I think at 182 <clears throat> other things you need to know is uh, the oil pan if you're not putting this in a truck, <clears throat> the oil pan will not fit a lot of a lot of the muscle cars. I had to buy a another a different oil pan, and I had the part number right here for you. I had to buy it's a GM part number. The number is one two four nine five three six zero. So I had to put that in because the original one would would not. Uh, clear the uh, cross up the saddle underneath you got to run a high volume oil pump <clears throat> I got a Morosa a high volume water pump and if you're going to go with a mechanical <clears throat> mechanical fuel pump you got to get us put the, the rod it's got us it's got a cop a bronze tip so it doesn't wreck the camshaft the camshaft's made out made out of a softer billet softer billet material so you got to run the Push rod with a bronze tip, and I got that through uh, Summit Racing. And the other problem you're going to have is headers. Um, the headers, the way they make this car is uh, that engine is the bolts, the head, the head bolts. To my knowledge, nobody makes a nobody makes a header for it. So you got to do a lot of grinding, and that's 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 a pain in the butt, guys. But I don't know if there's any way around that. I mean, somebody could make them by now, but I doubt it. I'm not seeing anything online about it. But it's got a lot of power, and uh, you you'll be happy you bought this. But you got to do all that stuff to it if you don't want you know, so you don't have any problems down the road. You guys got any questions on this, or you want to know anything about it? And hey, I can tell you a lot about it because I've had it for a while, and uh, <clears throat> I've been through it, and it, it runs really well. I mean, it idles nice. Um, it's got plenty of power. Uh, it'll scare you if you get on it. <clears throat> Very streetable. No problems at all. I ran a quadro jet, but it, that was uh, customized out to 850 <clears throat> CFM. If you get enough fuel to this bad boy, because she likes she likes her fuel. I think I'm getting seven seven miles to gallon, maybe eight. But hey, that that goes with the territory, guys. You know. Um, if there's is there any questions you guys want to know, leave a comment, and uh, I'll get back to you. Um, I'm, you know, I'm a new channel, so if you, it, I'd be uh, it'd be nice if you, and I'd be very thankful if you uh, <clears throat> subscribe. I got a lot of good information, and I'm gonna do a lot of videos down down the road. Okay, guys, that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it because. Uh, I'm looking forward to making more content. All right, guys. Bye.